Hey guys, oh refreshing young people. Just did a show yesterday at the villages. That was fun. Uh, you guys been up to the villages? You guys, you guys seen purgatory firsthand? You guys seen the 400 year old souls wandering around the villages? Just, Looking for, to pass on into the afterlife. Everybody in the village just looks like they're two weeks away from accidentally driving through a Publix. You ever see those people? Just, every week some old lady drives through a Publix. And they talk to her on the news. They're like, what happened? She's like, well, I accidentally hit the gas instead of the brake. I'm like, yeah, we got that part. Uh, but I've done that. I'm just like, whoops, that's it. I don't like drive over six damn curves into the deli section. I ain't never done that. At some point, you're enjoying it. You're like, well, I'm in here. Let me do a lap. Check out the BOGOs. See what they got to offer. It's weird, man. Florida's weird. I'm a native Floridian. Ain't native Floridians in here? Yeah, it's we, we got we to gotta take it in stride. There's only a few of us. They're the young people, too. You notice that? Because people come down from the north, run us off the road, and kill us before we're 30. You ever see that? Or just sandhill cranes wandering the streets waiting to be hit by somebody from Indiana. It's fantastic. I, just, I don't know, man. Native Floridian, a lot of hurricanes. I've lived here 34 years. Got them all. You know, I'm at the point now I just fill out my FEMA applications ahead of time. You know? <laughs> they haven't even hit yet. I'm filling it out. Damn it. I put emotional. They still gave me the money. They don't read it. You know? They said, how long are you without power? I was like, I was married three years. Why? Uh, <laughs> yeah. My friend got denied. My friend got denied. He's like, bro, they denied me. I said, because you're my roommate? <laughs> like, it's not per person, per house. We can't both get it. <laughs> I said, and, and nothing happened. Why'd you even fill it out? He goes, we lost power. I said, because you didn't pay the bill. Like, you got to do that, you know? Kind of stupid, man. I live over in Polk County, too. You guys heard of that? How many people have been to Polk County? Yeah, some of you guys have bought meth. Yeah, you guys, that's cool. You guys still have your... Polk County. Mm, more guns and teeth than Polk County. It's fantastic. We live in an area where the hotels still advertise air conditioning like it's an amenity, you know? They're like, we have AC. I'm like, you should. Uh, it's 2018. Like, we also got cable. I'm like, so is the gas pump now? I don't know if you're aware of that. Like, just go to the gas pump to watch TV. That's stupid, man. Polk County, man. I don't like my area. I just, my neighborhood's messed up. I, I, I pass the time on, on, on certain days. I don't know if anybody's ever done this. this is what you should do. On trash day, just drive around the neighborhood and just judge your neighbors by the trash that they put by the curb, the furniture in particular. Yeah, just look at the furniture and think to yourself, like, that was in their house up to this point. <laughs> like, that was their decor yesterday. You know, like, how come everybody's couch looks like they were attacked by wolverines? What the hell goes on in your house? You know, don't judge them by the mattress, though, because we've all been there, you know? You pull back a sheet, you're like, apparently I pissed myself 17 times. I don't recall any of this. I age my mattress like a tree. I'm like, this one has 12 rings. It's been here since 08. Then what do you do? You flip it. You're like, brand new. Brand new. Flip it right over. Tell your friends come to help you move, and you're like, I'll, I'll get this. They're like, it's a California king. You're like, I got it. Leave me alone. <laughs> you, ever, you ever have somebody move, and they still got the sheets on the mattress, and you're like, no, bro, I can't get a grip. Can we just? They're like, no. No, I actually can't. I'm just going to leave that one right there. We're not going to touch that at all. <laughs> Oh, county, man. Florida in general is just weird. I love it. I love Florida. I love Florida, man. We just got like, I don't know, we got a lot of stuff in Florida. We got a lot of McDonald's and stuff. That's about all. Was, I, just, I like, you guys like McDonald's? You guys don't like McDonald's? I don't like them anymore. I used to like them. They changed up the ordering every time I go there now. They just, I go through the drive through. They get the guy with the iPad now, you know? He looks at he's like, what would you like? I'm like, I don't know. We're 100 yards from the menu. Binoculars? You know, like, I haven't even turned off my drive yet. Why are you at my car, bro? Like, that's not a red light. That's weird, bro. Uh, then you get up there. They got two lanes now. Well, oh, that's what I wanted. Another on-ramp situation in Florida. If I can just have another opportunity to merge with a complete stranger. That's, I don't even get my damn order out. Dude, next to me starts moving. I'm not going to let him cut me off. I'm going to be like, I'll just finish at the window. I don't care about you. Stupid. Chick fil A, man, they threw me on. Chick fil A takes your money by the curb. You guys see that? They got a dude standing outside. 
He's like, 1250. I'm like, uh, first off, how do I know you work here? <laughs> like, damn homeless dude could put a cow in his hat, stand next to the menu, make 14 grand in an hour, you know? He's gonna get your order right. Hey man, you got the chicken? Yeah, I did, that's crazy. And, uh, that's crazy. Chick-fil-A, I love Chick-fil-A. Chick-fil-A, I tried, I tried to buy a Chick-fil-A. Anybody ever looked into that? Anybody ever tried to buy a Chick-fil-A? It's, it's 10 grand. I'm not making that up, 10 grand. I was like, oh, well, I could do that. You know, you put in an application online. They don't take anybody, though. Like, you gotta, it's not just the money. Like, they screen you. You gotta be Team Chick-fil-A. Like, you have 0.01% of people get through. I was like, well, I'll throw my name in there and see what they think, you know? But I guess you gotta be, like, super religious. And I'm like an every other Sunday kind of guy. You know, like, I'm not like Team Jesus, you know, like all the time. Like, you know, but they called me up first question. They're like, what's your relationship like with the Lord? I was like, well, goddamn. I did not. I did not anticipate this. That is first question. Uh, I said, I got to be real. Like, uh, it's, it's, it's not the best at all times. You know, like, it's. It's hit or miss. They're like, well, you know, we don't just give a $165,000 a year job just anybody. I was like, oh, oh, you said the Lord? <laughs> I thought you said my Ford. I'm a Chevy guy. Uh, I drove to church today. Uh, listen, I just couldn't hear you. I was at choir practice singing about Jesus all day long. You can, guys, my name is Devin Seabold. Thank you guys so much. You guys are amazing. Keep proud. Thank you guys. Welcome back to Stage 10.